The owner of Elma Chips will hate me for sharing this secret. To a saucepan filled with boiling water, add a drizzle of oil and one half teaspoon of salt. Also add two cups of penne pasta. I'm using a cup equivalent to 240 milliliters. Now let it cook for seven to 10 minutes or until al dente. After the indicated time, turn off the heat, drain all your pasta water and set aside. Then to a medium bowl, add one cup of wheat flour, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, also add one teaspoon of sweet paprika, and finally, one teaspoon of salt. Using a fork, mix it all together very well. Did you know that the Aquila Reseda app, in addition to the Android version, is now also available for iPhone and iPad? So go to the comment section and download it right now. Now get the pasta bowl and add two whole eggs to it. Using a spoon or spatula, mix it all together very well until egg is absorbed into the pasta. The ingredients and directions to this recipe will be detailed in the comment section below, step by step. After that, get each penne with a fork and coat it in flour mix we've just prepared. Make sure to coat it very well with your hands. Repeat this process until you've used up all the pasta. Make sure they're all well coated. Leave us a comment telling which city you're watching it from. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. Next, to a skillet over medium heat, add enough oil to cover the pasta when it comes to frying. Now add the coated pasta and let it fry until golden brown. Have you downloaded our Aquila Reseda app on your phone yet? It's already available for download. I'll leave the app link for download here in the comment section. Go ahead and download it right now. Finally, using a strainer ladle, remove all this pasta and transfer to a plate lined with paper towel to drain it off. If you've made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. After that, transfer all this pasta to a small bowl. Add a pinch of salt and a generous pinch of black pepper. Finally, wrap some cling film all around this bowl and slightly shake it to evenly distribute the spice mix all over the chips. The recipe is ready. You may now choose any dip of your liking and enjoy it. I really hope you like this recipe. Now I'll head back to the comments section and we'll continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.